All right, guys, uh, final segment of the night, Bioware Sensors Mass Effect Legendary Edition, because beautiful women are bad and gamers are evil. Uh, I'm going into this knowing what's going on. So I'm going to admit that I have a little bit of a bias here. The story, to my knowledge, is that there's a game called Mass Effect, and in the game, you could have sex with women. And there's this one woman, and and when you have sex with this woman, the original cutscene featured her ass more in the you know, as far as like the camera went. And in the in the remake, in in the, in the remastered edition, the cutscene and, and the camera angle um showed the ass a bit less. And I think the quartering is very mad, and I'm trying to understand why. So, Jeremy, uh, you know we're gonna put you at 1.75. Please hit me Hi up. Everyone, Jeremy here from the quartering. I've got a little story out of Bioware here with the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Look, I have come to expect that just about any time you're gonna get a remake of a legendary game or a legendary character, if there's a good-looking woman in it, it, it's going to get updated. I'm sorry updated we saw this very clearly with tifa on final oh god Fantasy VII oh god that was fucking horrifying um okay so tifa in final fantasy 7 i mean the difference the difference here is her honkers are slightly slightly smaller they are a little bit less of uh you know Big badonker wonker hunkers. So it's very it's very small difference, but we do get more tummy, and I appreciate that. Also, we have thigh highs. So this is just this is just I don't know. To me, this is an upgrade, honestly. Um more realistic proportions, more tummy, and thigh highs. Like to me this is an upgrade, but uh ordering is he is uh, putting out some mad energy. <laughs> He's upset. Remake, which is an excellent game, but why? You know, you, you had an ethics department making her she's still a beautiful woman, but why even waste time on that? Uh, and you have Bioware now. Did it take that much time to, like, very slightly adjust the game to have a more realistic art style and to follow more realistic proportions? Because that's kind of why they did that. Like, she's still the hottest character in the game. She's still really hot. Like, and I, I honestly think she's hotter. Like, I, <laughs> but it's such a big deal to him. And I don't, I don't get it. Man's weird. Oh, uh, editing some of the spicy scenes, cutscenes from Mass Effect. Out. Booty. Bioware has confirmed that Mass Effect. Oh my like god, what the hell? This is freaking me out. I'm sorry. Why why does that happen? And it's some of its more spicy cutscenes, particularly those involving Cerebus Officer Miranda Lawson. Um, announced on February 2nd, Mass Effect Legendary, Legendary Edition is set to feature not only the three games that make up the original Mass Effect trilogy, but over 40 DLC from all three games, enhanced performance, visuals, graphics, and available in HDR. Now, these are all great things. It offers players uh, an option to replay the game with you know upgraded visuals and maybe some game-breaking bugs removed. It also allows somebody who is new to pick up everything at an affordable price and enjoy the entire trilogy. I, I'm a big fan of this. Um, for Mass Effect 1, quote, we took the rough edges off and tried to reduce the delta between 1 and 2, because 2 and 3 had a very similar looking feel. 1 tended to feel very dated, so we spent more time trying to bring it closer to 2. While just continued, quote, there were some underlying systems that made it more like an RPG and less like a shooter, but there were other systems, like camera movement, aiming, and things that we had improved over the course of the trilogy. Bringing them into Mass Effect 1 was a no-brainer, and we tried to just smooth out the overall experience, Walters added, quote, reducing the friction from gameplay but not the inherently or fundamentally changing how you progress through the game is how you invest the squad's talents and class systems and things like that. That was important. These are all very, very good. Um, in turning their attention into providing players with a, quote, better overall experience, Walters further explained that the team gave special attention to improving the game's handling of the female version of Commander Shepard, whose character lacked customization features and reused many of the male-centric animations from her male counterpart. Specifically for female Shepard, I think there was a lot of things we could do across the trilogy to make that better. So she's a bit more on par with the male Shepard, said Walters. Whether it'll be just subtle face and shape changes or some wrinkles or support to whatever, she's catching the light and some kind of quality level. And then specifically around the animations, we couldn't really change a lot of those, but there were times when you could change the camera to not focus on one of those animations, he continued. So male Shepard animation would have him sitting with his legs wide open in a low camera where if you're wearing a skirt, it would be a bit unflattering, so we can't necessarily change that animation, but you can raise the camera up slightly to reduce the problem. 
I'm not really like this isn't why I play video games, but I'd like to know why that's a problem. Additionally, during the quote hands off. I don't know. Some players might find it a problem. Different people find different things problematic. And that's okay. You know, Jeremy, you and me may not find that a problem, but if someone doesn't want to see that, that's fine. And I don't mind them giving players like that sort of option to move the camera away from the the upskirt. I guess it's, I don't know, man, man, why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do this? Presentation detailing the changes coming to the remaster of the sci-fi trilogy attended by Polygon, Bioware Environment, and character director Kevin Meek revealed that the red-headed default Femshop, who was first introduced as a playable character in Mass Effect 3, would be available to play as throughout the entire saga. Sadly, though somewhat unsurprisingly, the original three games in the trilogy will not be released unaltered, as Walters reveals that the team had to make edits to some of the game's more well-rounded cutscenes. When press on the claims levied that the developer and certain characters and uh -huh. designs such as all female or EDI's robot, robot body were made specifically to pander to a male audience, Walters noted that I do think a lot of things have evolved since the original games. I don't know if I would say we were ultra concerned about it or anything like that, but there were considerations. Uh, according to Walters, quote, Kevin actually called out some camera cuts that were just, why was it so focused on Miranda's butt? So in some cases, we said, all right, we'll make a change here, he recalled, but ultimately the change as an entire character model or something like that wasn't really, it was a decision that was a part of many creative decisions to show it as best as possible fidelity and going forward the choice of the art that we had. So the dude's like, yo, why is it so focused on her butt? They're having like a dialogue tree here and it's like right on her ass and it's just, it's just kind of odd. And so I can understand from like a direction standpoint to just kind of like change that like did it have to be like this and do you care that it's not to the point that you're gonna like read this entire article about it and call this censorship and say that people are saying beautiful women are bad and gamers are evil who's saying this Who's saying this? Why are you strawmanning this? Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> Come on. Right. So that's what you spent time on. Unfortunately, despite these improvements, the changes being made to Mass Effect, Walters concluded in his interview with Metro by revealing that the third game's controversial ending would remain unchanged. Now, that's the bigger problem. Quote, sure, you know the controversy around the ending, he admitted, and we understand, I certainly understand how it didn't hit with some people, a lot of people. But I didn't think you suddenly go in and try to change anything in that regard. So why not? I mean, I mean, you're changing a lot of other things. I mean, I suppose that's a lot more work. Um, now, is it the end of the world? No. Um, you know, I, I no. But I'm gonna make a nine minute and thirty second long video about it. <laughs> Why didn't you change the story? Why are you only changing subtle things that don't really change the game? Why don't you guys actually make destructive changes to the ori original work of art? I don't know. This guy is so weird, dude. I think. To me, it's it's not really relevant. I don't know that uh, I was super duper interested in rebuying this game anyway. You can see here, why must everything this by Sophia Narwitz? Why must everything these days be first viewed through the lens of spiciness? As someone who is actually gay, I gotta say this stuff is annoying. Pointing to an article from The Verge, Mass Effect Legendary Edition won't add new content or more gay romances. What? What? Why? I don't I don't care. If they don't want to change, they're not adding new content. And, you know, that includes gay romances. Whatever, bro. I don't care. It's not my game. They're the ones making it. Even if I wanted that, you know, I... It's not my game. This is a remake. They're just trying to enhance this, the, the experience subtly, like, you know, with... With graphics, optimizing uh, cutscene angles for them to be, you know, make more sense cinematically and not come off as so, like, horny, because that's weird. And nobody goes to video games to jerk off to cutscenes of women's butts, I guess. I mean, that it's just weird. It's just weird, and it can be unimmersive and kind of take you out of the experience uh, when it's just, like, ass everywhere, when you're in the middle of, like, a serious dialogue moment, I guess. Very odd. And also, he uses light mode, and that triggers me. What is even the point of this? <laughs> and then you see Game Rant. One thing Mass Effect Legendary Edition should change, but won't. Mass Effect Legendary Edition releases in a few months, but the remaster decided not to correct past mistakes when it comes to uh, same uh, team romance. 
Why? Same team Rome. You're not gonna say the word sex. This is just this is purely like like used in a like a scientific editorial context. What a fucking pussy, dude. And you have he has like Minds Twitch Parlor, which is fucking gross. Rumble and Bitshoot. The only thing I really know about is Twitch. Well, I know about I know what I know what these are. These these are places you don't really want to go because it's where a lot of shitty people go, but This guy just this guy just rubs me off the wrong way. <laughs> he just rubs me off the wrong way. Why is he complaining about this? Why is he looking so far into this? I don't like like Come on, you have to have better things to talk about. If, like, like who wants this content? Who is reading this? Why? I mean, is this all these weirdos think of? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. That, the, that all these people want to do is write about um, SJW culture, culture war stuff. Uh, but they end up having to write this crap because that's what gets clicks. Nobody really cares. It's because Game Rant doesn't have anything. Here, uh, actually, let's go with Game Rant. They don't have anything Bro, interesting Bro, you're say. projecting. All you want to talk about is SJWs and you just want to say everyone's offended by everything when it's like you, you, you're offended. You think that they're censoring. You th you think that they're censoring the ass? It's just an artistic change, dude. The change made it less sexual, but like, it's not censorship. They weren't like forced to do this. It was an artistic decision. Like you're the one fucking clickbaiting out here. Nobody's saying that gamers are evil and beautiful women are bad. What the fuck? What are you on, dude? There's no way he actually believes. Like, this shit's so fucking stupid. Absolutely bonkers. ...about the game, so that's what they talk about. I mean, ultimately. Lego rejects popular Fall Guys set concept. Is Fall Guys even still a thing? I can't remember a bigger flash in the pan than that. Um, it's like nobody goes and reads articles on Game Rant unless they write these culture pieces, these think pieces. And look, all you talk about is culture war shit. Stop. All, all you talk, SJW weirdos. <laughs> the SJWs ganging up on Chris Pratt. Retta Thunberg, he loves talking about like Neil Druckmann and the, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the SJWs and Brie Larson and Trigger, Top 10 Savage Moments, Sargon of Akkad, Sargon of Akkad ruined your life, good. <laughs> Gamers male fragility. Like all you talk about is fucking culture war shit. That's all your shit has been about. And. You're also. A, the robbing pussy. Who. Is afraid to say. Words that aren't that bad. That's what I have to say. That's my take. Did you guys like that? Did you guys like that? Are you proud of me? Did I do a good?